Yeah, I wasn't exactly prepared for this. But welcome back to the class. So if you're wondering why we're getting this very impromptu midnight release video, it's because we have additive drops coming for both Padawan Obi-Wan as well as Master Qui-Gon. These are brand new characters that actually really haven't made it onto their own farmable Nords, but we are going to be able to get them in additive drops starting on June 21st. And the reason we have to release this video right this very second is because if we want to get the most bang for a buck for that specific event, we need to start saving and hoarding our energy prior to that date to be able to unleash all the energy that we would accumulate to not only get the rewards that we would normally get by spending energy like signal data or Kyrotech or character shards, but we will also get in addition to that the shards. And I actually should make the correction there. You can't get Kyrotech from this because Obi-Wan is only available on the hard nodes for light side and dark side. And that actually is a really big deal. We will talk about that more in detail once we actually go and look at the numbers and why this is just really such a good idea but before we do any of that i do want to recap a little bit for anyone who's new what hoarding and or saving your energy looks like for these events the concept all comes down to making sure that the energy up here in the top right corner is capped out at the end of the day using the crystal refreshes that typically for cantina will cost 100 and then it'll go to 200 and we want to be spending a mixture of those again i'll go into more into detail on what those numbers need to look like but this idea here is that we're going to purchase these crystal refreshes and then we are going to go beyond the normal cap of 144. now i realize your energy will stop naturally accruing throughout the day when you do that that's what this green color here it means it's locked and while that is a little bad it is much more worth it in the long run to bank all this energy throughout the several days prior so that when the actual day hits, you'll be able to unleash all of it and not just get your normal rewards, but in addition to that, get those extra Qui-Gon charge, which would be very helpful because he's not even farmable right now. And even when he goes farmable, you know, having 80 extra shards or whatever it ends up being sitting to the side will be really nice. Now, the actual math backing it up, why this is a good idea, I do want to get into that. We talk about this every now and then, but I think it's important to reiterate, especially for new members of the community. But basically what we're doing here is we're going to take the 525 energy that you would normally get throughout the day. You get 120 naturally you get the 45 extra bonus and then on top of that you get 360 doing the three crystal refreshes for 100 crystals that we just talked about if we take all the energy that you would normally get up in one day hoard it away instead of spending it today we should be getting a return of about 15 shards for qui-gon obviously i'm kind of making these numbers up because the event isn't live we don't exactly have the drop rate data but this is based off of the past events and quite frankly the shard drop rates for these type of events have been very good over the last couple. I realized that the gear and or Zetas has been a little bit lackluster, but Qui-Gon isn't a Zeta, he is a character. And you could even say, Calvin, what if the drop rate all of a sudden sucks, then I'm suddenly out. Like we, we did this whole hoarding thing and I'm actually coming out at less. And I wanna say the odds of that happening are very slim. And I'm not saying the odds of the drop rate being garbage or slim. I'm saying even if they are slim, you're still gonna come out ahead. Even if we go from a 3% drop rate per energy down to a 1%, which is kind of atrocious. And we've actually seen that recently with Zetas, you're still gonna be getting about five shards a day, assuming the amount of energy you're hoarding. And you're only really losing about 200 crystals worth of energy because that's what it would take to replace what you're spending. Meaning that you're really only out 200, which if you're getting 420 of value, then you're getting 220 crystal day. So even if the drop rate is just absolute garbage, you still should come out ahead hoarding. It's just the difference between awesome returns and mediocre returns. Now, with all that being said, we've talked a lot about Qui-Gon and Cantina, and you can see that I'm already hoarding Cantina energy. And the reason why is because Cantina is great, and for this particular event, the normal energy is awful. And there are a few reasons for that. Some of them are specific to this event, and some are just there in general. One of the things that is very difficult in general to hoard energy is one of the things that you are going to miss out on is you are typically not going to be able to max out your daily 600 for guild events you can kind of see that in here currently right the day just kind of started for me so i don't really have anything in there but if you don't spend any of your normal energy or your cantina energy you will not be able to get up to these 600 tickets and this is not only bad for you because the raids will happen less but it's also bad for the rest of your guild so in trying to be a good guild mate we really don't want to be spending normal or cantina or one or the other is fine we don't want to be hoarding both of them at the same time now that being said i think cantina is much better value for two reasons number one obi-wan 
came out first meaning that regardless of how you were planning on farming him whether it be shipments or refreshing the node or slow farming or accelerated whatever way you want to do it he's going to come out first you are already going to have one leg up on farming obi-wan versus qui-gon who will come out later in all of those areas the other reason and this one matters a lot to me is obi-wan is only available on hard nodes which i don't really know anyone out there who just has extensive hard nodes to the fact that they could burn 1000 or 2000 hoarded energy in one day because they're capped at about five attempts so it really just while the value is there on paper kind of what we saw here before it's not really that practical and it's kind of still cool because you know if you don't even if you don't hoard when the event actually hits and you're farming whatever characters you have you're going to get a little bit extra on top and that's great i don't want to diminish that but at the same time that doesn't really have anything to do with hoarding hoarding we're really looking to dump a very large amount all at once and hard nodes quite frankly no pun intended make that very difficult cantina does not have such weaknesses you can go and hit the signal data or even a character node a thousand times in one day and not, you're not really penalized for it in any way shape or form so having that very large amount of cantina energy there really are no downsides to it you're making sure that you're getting all of your raid tickets via normal energy qui-gon is going to come on after so getting a leg up on him is more important than it is on obi-wan it overall is just a very big win so now that we understand why we should be hoarding and in what ways it's good we need to take a quick look at how we should be doing it and this is going to be a little bit different than normal specifically because the event is happening in like three days and again i'm posting this at like midnight so it'll probably be two days by the time this actually posts depending on where you're at which means these numbers here aren't all that useful because most of us can't actually or all of us can't actually go back in time you would see if you really wanted to max out say your normal energy you really need to start two days ago or so good luck with that and if you wanted to start even with normal canteen energy or just canteen energy not normal canteen energy you would need to start today which most of us have already gone through our refreshes by now making this very difficult so that is going to prompt two questions number one is it still worth up to hoard and the answer is yes even if you can't hit the exact max of 1119 energy i mean 700 is still good there's still value in that it, 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 it's not really required to be at this number to be able to get good value but it, whatever amount you can start hoarding today being i guess the 19th or the 18th depending on where you're at do it and then do it again tomorrow and then the next day and then the 21st go ahead and make sure to spend it all although you probably weren't going to have a very bad job with that now one of the questions that i know i'm going to get in the comments because to be fair we've gotten it before is with us getting such late notice is it actually worth it to go into the 200 crystal refreshes for cantina considering as it currently stands the 100s will not be enough to get us to that max number and the answer is maybe it depends on how you were originally going to farm qui-gon jinn and it really all boils down to were you going to get him exclusively from farming whatever node he ends up whether it be we're going to assume it's a hard node whether it be a normal energy or fleet energy if you were going to do that the 200s are not great value because at this point you're paying essentially 200 crystals for about 3.6 shards assuming that three percent drop rate at the very beginning meaning you're getting the character for about 50 crystals a shard which is cheaper than shipments so that's great so if you were planning on doing shipments then this is actually a pretty good deal if you're going to do them on the node anyways it probably isn't worth it I, I guess if you're willing to pay more expensive than the node which i guess you would be doing shipments it, it's a little bit more nuanced than that but overall 200s can be good value depending on how you're wanting to farm qui-gon the first place we do not by the way have to do any really elaborate math about the energy we are giving up by letting it sit there over time because that is going to be happening regardless just because you refresh the energy at 200 crystals one or two or three or four times between the several days you're not missing out on anything extra the overall price is just more expensive but reiterating the overall value can be good especially for those of you out there who we're going to get this character via shipments if you're going to get them through the node it probably isn't that great but you can tack it on and use it as an excuse that well it's cheaper than shipments so i can i can afford doing it so ultimately that's what it boils down to we need to start hoarding today the 19th really would encourage only doing a cantina oh i forgot to mention if you're wanting also to make sure you're hitting your dailies you can factor in 48 extra energy per day but that number kind of gets thrown off because all, quite frankly most of these numbers are a little bit useless considering the event is starting very quickly and you're probably gonna have to go into the 200s to be able to hit that anyway so hopefully this is helpful make sure you can hoard as much as you can for cantina not going above the 200s over the next couple days cashing on qui-gon and have a great time but until then stay awesome